Hello, this is NTR11023, and welcome to my first Let's Play series. Let's play Final Fantasy. I'll be playing through the DOS version, which was on the Game Boy Advance, because it's the only version I've ever done, and it also has four bonus levels. So, let's get started. Alright, so, let the screen load. Pretty cool graphic. Obviously, let's start a new game. And when you first start, you'll have the option to choose your uh, which characters you want to use. There are several different characters you can choose from. The warrior, which is the melee fighter. The thief, which is not as strong as the warrior, but can use, well, has higher agility, actually. The monk, which is um, low maintenance, I think, doesn't require much gear. Then you also have a red mage, which can use both black and white magic and can wield weapons. Then you have the black mage, which uses black magic, and the white mage, which uses white magic. The white mage is the healer, and the black mage is the nuker. Then uh, I will be playing through using a warrior, a thief, a white mage, and a black mage this time. And so to, if you want to choose a different character, then s put your pointer over the character you want to change, push the A button, and then just push the A button to change it. Um, now halfway through the game, about, you do get a class change. And every character upgrades, if you will. The warrior becomes well, the warrior gains the ability to use white magic, the thief can use some black magic, um, the red mage can use higher level white and black magic, the black and white mage can use higher level magic according to their class. Um, the monk, though, the monk doesn't really have any upgrades, as far as I know. If I'm wrong, tell me, but... Um, so... Last time I played through, I played with the warrior, the red mage, the white mage, and the black mage, and... So, I'm going to be playing through the Thief this time, because I've heard the Thief's a lot more fun. To name your characters, if you just want auto names, you can push the select button and it gives auto names, but I don't really like the auto names, so I'm going to give them some custom names. Start off, let's call this, uh, push the B button to erase. Let's call this guy Nathan. Nathan is my favorite name for obvious reasons. <laughs> Um, right. Then we'll call this guy Zach. Then there are two ways to select a name once you... Uh, names can only be six characters, and so... Uh, choose your name, then you can either push start or push end. Um, the B button erases in case you didn't already catch that. Well, the white mage. I don't really know if the white mage is a boy or a girl. Um, right now, it looks more like a girl, but when it upgrades, uh, the white mage looks more like a boy. So I'll just call it a name that could go either way. I will call... Um, I will call it Alex. And this guy, we'll call him Bruce, because he just looks like a Bruce. Alright, so let's start. Then, once you have all your names selected, push the start button, then push A to confirm. We see a little opening cinematic that didn't appear in the original version. The world lies shrouded in darkness. The winds die. Seas rage. The earth decays. 
definitely takes a while for this text to appear. But the people believe in a prophecy, patiently awaiting its fulfillment. When darkness veils the world, four warriors of light shall come. After a long journey, four young travelers did at last appear. And in the hand of each was clutched a crystal. So here we start our journey. And in the ROM I'm using, there is a glitch. Um, and forest is you, well, forest, you kind of flash like that, but we'll get used to it eventually. So, well, that's all the time we have for this episode. Um, so, see you next time.